Welcome to Naive Investor. My name is Gustavo Sayani. Today is November 15th, 2016, and this is our episode number 22. Today we're going back to basics, back to what we've been doing uh, most of the time in the past uh, 21 episodes, and that is uh, looking at a Brazilian company's debt over equity. So we're going to generate a random company now and find these numbers so we can uh, assess uh, the debt situation for this company. First thing we do, we can go to Google, we can Google Empresas Listadas Bovespa, which means Bovespa's listed companies. This will lead us to a list of initials, which is right here. And from these 26 initials, we can open a new tab, go to random.org, and on the right hand side we can add 26 as a maximum and generate and today we get the number 8 so 3678 letter H so we have seven companies starting with the letter H generate a random number again from 1 to 7 so we get 4 so we get Hidrovias do Brasil, so Brazilian uh, waterways. Okay, well, uh, we can see that it's not quoted and it does not have a, a stock ticker. So we're just going to assume that this uh, company uh, is not being traded so we can't buy it and we won't uh, analyze it. We could uh, generate another company from H but I'm not going to do this today because there are certain companies or, or rather certain letters that have many many more companies so I'm just going to randomize another letter so from 1 to 26 14 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, letter N. Okay, now we have a few more companies, not that many. 3, 6, 9, 12. Great, so let's randomize from 1 to 12. 9, so 3, 6, 9. Nova Ação Participações. Let's see if it's being traded. Apparently not because there's no ticker. Let's do it all again. Get another initial. Number five, letter E. So with the letter E we have many more and we're going to use the computer. So right button click. We click on console here. Just remember, I'm using Google Chrome, okay? So I do this, uh, T-Body, T-R. If you watched before, uh, especially the first episodes, I explained this in a little bit of detail. Uh, so we get 27 possible companies here. So we randomize from 1 to 27. 5. Let's see which one's five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. Electro Asaltona. We, we actually looked at this company recently. So let's just randomize another company uh, starting with the letter E. 15. So we can do here uh, this. Uh, 14 is just because uh, the list starts with a zero in computing reality here, okay? Let's see which one this is. Energiza Mato Grosso do Sul. Okay, let's just find this here. Uh, so we have two as a matter of fact, but I'm apparently we're looking at this one. Dist uh, de Energia. Let's go to it, see if it's being traded. Apparently not. Uh, well, uh, statistically, we're being pretty unlucky here, but let's keep going, whatever. I'm going back to the initials here. Randomize another initials. Another initial, sorry. 
24 so 26 25 24 let's see if we have a company with X I think we have one uh, 15 of November yes or actually 20 de November oh yes uh, I think we've uh, looked at this and realized that it's not being traded either uh, I have tried to to look at another way of randomizing companies uh, like getting a full list of the companies uh, I just wasn't able actually to to find it so you know I may uh, dedicate uh, more time just to getting this this process a little more efficient I recognize it's it can be improved right uh, so for now, let's keep uh, doing it this way. Uh, eight, three, six, seven, eight. So back to letter H. Okay. So again, we have seven companies. Three. Hercules Fabrica de Talleres. Okay. Let's go to it. Okay, so this one at least has a symbol. Uh, apparently hasn't been traded in a long time. But uh, let's see what's going on with this company. Let's go to its website. This is a well-known company, by the way. Uh, I think most people in Brazil know it. It makes uh, kitchen utensils, forks, knives. Uh, and it... Uh, in its core activity here, it says it does even more stuff. So like beauty items, uh, hygiene, uh, furniture. Uh, so simply a lot of things. Uh, so let's go to its website, see what's going on with Hercules. A link was broken there. Loading. Pretty old school here, but we do find investors. Let's see here. Okay, uh, quarterly information. So second quarter. 2016 so we get the ITR okay uh, so for someone like me like I've heard of equities and I have read a little bit about it as a matter of fact a lot of things come to mind you know automatically I can't avoid it you know but we need to keep an open mind until we look at the numbers right because sometimes companies may look really good and not be that great in reality and vice versa, right? But let's take a look at its debt. So, okay, we do see debt here. Okay, so we have like uh, 960 million uh, current debt. Let's open the calculator. Okay, so we have uh, 960 million. in bonds in the entries right we do see other obligations uh let's just not add it right now right away uh actually this is not million okay this is thousands and then we have um loans here uh 303 million so let's put it this way let's start again so let's make this 1 million plus 304 million here okay so calculator not needed 305 million in in debt just plain debt i'm opening the spreadsheet here takes a couple of seconds for the data to actually load great I'm going to look if to check if I've already analyzed this company somehow 
Hercules. Nope. Okay, let me just use the accent here. Nope. Okay, so we scroll all the way down and add a new company here. So Hercules to T16. So the debt is 305 million. Let's take a look at the net equity there. Uh, where is it? Okay, I actually lost it. Yeah, I think I really did lose it. Scrolling down again. Okay, so net equity. So yes, we do have a negative net equity here, minus three three five. So let's add it there. Okay. Well, we'll do the math. We'll copy the this little formula. It's just one divided by the other. Okay. Uh, and we have a negative debt equity, debt over equity, because the net equity is negative. And we've come across uh, two or three companies with net equity so far. And in all of them, what, what I said was, uh, unless you really know what you're doing in investing and you have experience, uh, in which case you're probably not watching this video, uh, you just stay away from companies with neg negative equities. Okay. Well, this means this company is certainly in, in deep trouble which is not to say that there is no value in this company but it's just a lot harder to to tap into that value and to analyze any possibilities out of, of a company like this uh, in fact um, most great investors may spend their entire lives avoiding and not even touching companies like this and come out doing great doing amazing right because this is a specialized niche uh, and uh, it's a pretty difficult niche to learn and we're not really going for difficulty here uh, quite the other way really we're going to, for easy things okay for things that a person with average intelligence but uh, a strong mind in terms of avoiding danger uh, will want to look at, okay? So great, we've looked at one more company, Hercules, and we certainly don't advise anyone to invest in it unless they know a lot of, about what they're doing. And I hope to see you in future episodes. If you haven't watched the past episodes, we have 21 pretty interesting uh, studies uh, in Brazilian companies. Uh, I'll be happy to hear from you and hope to see you again. Bye-bye.